we all made it to finals week, which is amazing. Um, it's a crazy time to be in school, trying to focus on that. So, um, so I have a documentary to share with you guys about Molly Stark Sanatorium. It's an abandoned former tuberculosis hospital in Louisville, Ohio. First, I want to give you a rough breakdown of the history in the past behind Molly Stark. We're actually going to go visit it in this documentary. It's going to be pretty cool. What I find the biggest takeaway from all this, a comparing, contrasting way of looking at COVID-19, 2020, and tuberculosis, which we're going to draw some parallels later down the road in this film with these two pandemics and periods of history. And um, yeah, we're going to learn about this building. We're going to go check it out in the state of decay that it's in now. It's a pretty crazy spot. It has a, a pretty mysterious kind of aura around it, but it's also very serene and nice. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's jump into it. Molly Stark Sanatorium opened August 23rd, 1929 as a tuberculosis clinic. It's interesting looking back on this and realizing how far the science of medicine has really come. Anyway, the hospital is named after Molly Stark, compassionate wife of John Stark, for whom Stark County is named after. During the American Revolution, um, Molly cared for her husband, John Stark, and her husband's troops in their own house, set up as a war hospital. So uh, she was a pretty tough lady. Um, John and Molly went on to have 11 kids, um, some of them serving alongside their father in his battles. So, wow, pretty crazy. I think one of the first things I notice is how quiet it is. It's kind of strange because there's a pretty main road right over there. And there's, you know, houses. It's kind of in the middle of a neighborhood. But, um... So right now I'm walking around the building. I'm kind of going off the beaten path a little bit because I want to see what's on the other side, but... You know, right through here, you can see the verandas. Pretty beautiful architecture. It's kind of beautiful over here. There's this huge farm field. Just goes on and on. Looks like somebody's been driving back here. It might be security or something like that. So it seems like here, this would be the main receiving area that we're kind of walking up towards now. It's very quiet here, very beautiful. I can imagine during the spring and summer, this is probably a pretty peaceful little place to meet up or chit chat. Okay, so I did move my car. I am going to try and poke my head in, definitely on the grounds. The building wasn't really spooky until you realize that you're going inside of it. So, I'm not going to stay long, but uh, 
I do want to give it a little check out. Oh wow. It's very dark. I don't like this entrance. So we're gonna see what our other options are. So Molly Stark was one of 25 tuberculosis hospitals actually built in Ohio. And it was built on August 23rd, 1929, and is designed in the Spanish Revival style by Albert Thayer. Uh, he wanted to bring a sense of fresh air and vitality to the building, which can be seen in the verandas and the balconies, and uh, I'm sure it's gorgeous inside. Uh, 1938, 1,200 feet of tunnels were built underneath the property, which link all the buildings together. Um, in 1952, they added additions to both wings, east and west of the building, um, to allow for higher patient capacity, but uh, towards the mid to the late 1950s, um, treatment technology had advanced and patients were moving into more technologically advanced facilities. So in response, Molly Stark had to widen the kind of care that they could provide to their patients. So for 40 years, they provided physical rehabilitation, care for the elderly, and care for those with substance abuse problems. As time went on, though, the building began to decay rapidly, and the price for repairs began to skyrocket. In 1995, Molly Stark Hospital was finally closed and remained that way all the way until 2009. It lay there, completely abandoned, until the county purchased the property for $1, perhaps seen best as a metaphor for the huge task at hand in revitalizing this old compound into its former glory. I think it's just really something else. Animal tracks, very small. Um, I don't get a creepy vibe. I mean, if I were in the building, probably a different story, but uh, uh oh, it's like we got a company, gotta go. Cool, we're good. As long as we're outside the building, I think everything's fine. So, yeah, pretty amazing. It's just kinda out here. It just kinda exists. So, I uh, really hope you guys enjoyed the film. There's a couple different takeaways that I just want to touch on to close. The first one being that this was a different kind of explore for me because usually I'm used to downtown Cleveland, downtown Akron, Youngstown, kind of metropolitan areas. And this building was kind of way off in the cut and that was really cool. But the most important thing about this film, I think, that I'm trying to express is if we draw parallels between tuberculosis and COVID-19, I think we can develop a lot of optimism and admiration for what's happened. For example, tuberculosis was around for centuries and killed millions of people. And COVID-19 came, it hurt us, it took a shot at us, and within a year we've developed a vaccine and, and we can already see a greener, happier, brighter future. I'm not downplaying the severity and devastation that this diseases cause like I I feel that very deeply but I developed a lot of optimism because look how far we've come as a human race and our technology and our knowledge I mean had COVID-19 hit 
during a time like the plague or tuberculosis. I mean, it would just, you know, these kind of things can wipe out humanity if we let it. It's just amazing what we've done in a year to something that we can't even see. You know, it just blows my mind. So I think it serves as a, a great opportunity to, to, to think about some parallels between then and now. And to also remind us that we've dealt with this before and we'll come out on top and we're getting better. So I hope that you um, can get something good out of it like that. And I hope you enjoyed it. And um, let's move on to 2021. You know, happier times ahead for sure. So, all right, I got to finish up. Thank you.